Uh, my comments about her, uh, the, the person being a rapist is in context of what should happen to them within the prison service. Uh, my comments about her, uh, the, the person being a rapist. So did, did she catch that? Well, the alert Tom Gordon of the Herald certainly did, and props to him for taking the First Minister on. I think you just referred to Ira Bryson using the word her. Does that mean you do, in fact, think Don't she is a woman? Anything into. I, I am trying to rationally. To individual. Look, you started I, saying I, her. Why did you say that? I, you, I, I can't remember. I'll it take your word for it. It sounds well, like fine. a Freudian Look, slip. I'm, I'm trying not Ida to. Bryson as a woman. But we've all been asking you, and you've been running away from the, uh, the question. We have been asking you for days. Do you regard Isla Bryson as she a woman? Regards herself as a woman. I regard uh, the individual as a rapist and in the context, to say the, the context of the prison service what matters man. is that uh, the individual was convicted of rape and that is what we're talking about here and that's what I will continue to, to focus on. Just want to be very clear Queen Nick, the rapist is called Adam Graham, he is a he. So with public humiliations like that becoming all the more regular Neil Oliver is it any wonder there's growing speculation over the weekend that the gender reform bill could actually be Sturgeon's poll tax moment? That's a, that's a difficult one, Dan. If, if you've lived in Scotland almost all of your life, as I have, and have seen the duration of Nicola Sturgeon's uh, stint as First Minister, she is coated in Teflon for some reason or other, and always, uh, you know, the, the things that are flung at her just seem to slide off or, or bounce off. It may well be, maybe this will be the, the moment that is uh, that leads to her undoing, but I'd, I would wait to be persuaded of that by it ever actually happening. I just think, it, though, it, 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 it casts a few things into sharp relief. You know, there's, for a start, there's the old adage about, you know, it always being easier to tell the truth because then you don't have to remember anything. And the, the way in which she, she has now, on more than one occasion, tripped over her own feet when trying to navigate the impossible path through the self-laid minefield of, of trans grammar uh, shows, underlines the ridiculousness of it. You know, as you rightly say, this is a guy. You know, it, this is a man who has raped two women. Um, he's still intact physically, and that was a man being put into a woman's prison, a woman's prison. It's it's not difficult to describe what actually happened there if you've got your if you've got your wits about you and if you're just speaking the plain biological language that we've all understood for all of our lives. But there's something else about it. You, you know, I listened or I saw actually on social media, um, and it just happened to be Piers Morgan. He tweeted that uh, how surprised he was, and I'm paraphrasing, to see such an effective and impressive politician as. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon tripping herself up in the trans debate. Now, you know, effective and impressive. I think those were the adjectives that he used. He got it completely wrong. So many, millions of people in Scotland have spent a decade seeing the reality of Nicola Sturgeon, which, which is to say that she's in, she invariably.